Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Athena, and I make videos, you know, related to motherhood because I've got a kid, you know, and also I make fashion videos. Uh, yes, I make fashion videos like you know, especially for curvy girls or miss mid-sized curvy girls. I post those videos Monday and Friday. Someone is so excited. Where's your food? Where's your where's your snack? My room is kind of a mess. My life is kind of a mess. Because my room is kind of a mess. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna go deep, right? What is the key to happiness? What's the key to happiness? Well, basically, I turned 30. Yes, I turned 30 on the 13th of February. This video is long overdue. I wanted to post a long time ago, but life, you know? Anyway, yeah, I'm 30 now. And I've actually realized today that I've got a white hair. I've got white hair, like hair. I don't know if you can see. Um, I was actually discussing it with my friend the other day. She was saying that she's got like white hair. She's 28 or so. So she was asking, oh, do you have white hair? I'm like, no, like, no, no way. Like I'm 30, but I'm not 70, you know, like, you know, my dad has good genes. My grandma, she had like, uh, she passed away now, but until recently, I mean, her hair was no white, white, right? And my dad is 62, almost, I think. And uh, I mean, he's got some white hair and all that, but he got white hair later, later, later on, like maybe after 50, you know, after 50 years old. So, yeah, it's funny that we were having that discussion in this week. I've discovered I have white hair, but it's short. I think it just started coming out. And I'm like, oh my God. That's what happens when you're too stressed, when you're too anxious about things. I don't know, maybe it's that, or maybe it's just that, um, just nature and I like you can't you can't deceive nature you can't tell nature when to get white hair and it like and one white hair is, doesn't mean anything I turned 30 I was in Cyprus in January and I was thinking a lot at some point you know we were on the plane and I started thinking reflecting on my life like I don't know why like I'm just 30 I'm like flipping 90 but anyway well, I was thinking a lot right I was even getting emotional and I started making notes it's just questions and like what is happiness I'm reflecting back on my life on my 20s I really enjoyed um, when I came here for my master's degree in 2013 that's when I came to the UK and uh, I've got my uni friends from you know we used to live in this flat in this uni like um building and a how do you use a campus is it campus i don't yeah so we were at flat 98 and we had so much fun like uh, when i reflect back that's the highlight of my 20s you know when i came here to do my masters and uh we we are all different age anyway but we were studying the same kind of you know you know university of the arts in london um yeah and we had such good such good memories and yeah i was just thinking what is happiness can you reach happiness can any one of us reach happiness like what is happiness i don't think there's such thing when they say happiness is moments is memories that's that's actually true you can't be always happy you can't always be like in that state like ah. I'm always smiling, I'm always positive, oh my god, I'm so happy. I don't think anyone is like that, you know, like, li life is, life is hard, man. Like, every day we go through stress, anxiety, you know, you've got a kid to care, to take care of. I never used to wake up early, you know, I used to wake up at 9, 10. Now I have to wake up at flipping 6.30 or 7 o'clock, 
and I don't have any choice you know and it's hard it's hard like it's stressful I get triggered by anything like if I'm in that mood like I just cannot I don't I feel that I don't have patience I will just flip and stuff like that life is stressful but when you look back when you reflect you have these highlights in your brain like in your in your mind in your head like you know you've got these moments that you always remember maybe from your childhood you know you I remember my dad we are all packed in one car we are nine kids and I like but we are all packed in one car and we are having fun we are not comfortable we are not rich I mean you know and all that but when I reflect back I look back on those moments you know packed in one car going to the mountains to get you know my dad would chop wood and he would make us carry you know and it was hard at that moment I remember we are struggling to carry the boots on the hill you know I used to carry with my sister a, a big pile like of wood whatever we are carrying it on that hill when I, when I look back I was thinking oh my god we are struggling but when also when I remember those moments I just feel happy I just feel like I've lived life these were happy memories of course you had your bad memories and all that but at the end of the day thinking about those moments this is what happiness is about you know and that's the key isn't it like to work towards building those memories this is what life is about having a better life what does it mean having a better life having a happy life is creating happy memories isn't it cre cre creating good moments good situations isn't it okay let me read from the book some stuff i wrote for me happiness is moments of being love that's one that's key that's one thing remember when you were a teenager and you know you've got these first feelings of being in love that's the happiest state i can't be i think like i don't know i'm just very happy when i'm in love like that's just me you know like you feel so motivated to just do things be creative you just feel so motivated and you love life or even if you are going through stressful times you are still happy you know and being creative as well like creating i think as human beings this is our natural state when we are creating something that we are passionate about that's what also make us happy you know um yeah you feel just euphoric isn't it when you're creative when you're in love and all that i don't think that's happiness spring moments where i feel the breeze i remember when i was you know in cyprus and i was at the balcony i could feel the breeze you know it was quiet peaceful i could feel the breeze i just feel happy you know or looking at the moon nature has a lot to do with happiness you know i think that's where us human beings are the happiest when we are near nature there's no final place of happiness happiness is moments the rest of life is just trying to reach happiness you know we always try to reach happiness i think but it's not like a final journey is it i mean it's not just final destination it's, it's the journey along isn't it the person that is hard for me to be happy everything is boring to me that's true i'm on a seven hour flight and I was thinking of that it's not seven hours it's four hours but for me happiness is when you look back in time and remember some moments and realize how happy you were feeling on those moments moments with family cracky jokes and sharing loving moments with a special one music songs that bring memories so I would say happiness is memories that you will never forget and carry with you for the rest of your life is what we are talking about earlier instead of thinking how i'm going to be happy get money change job have babies why don't you just try to live the present and create moments with your loved ones true happiness is memories you will never forget happiness is being creative being passionate about something looking forward to something to create the process of creating getting the final outcome of your creativity it's happiness sewing my head down and scrunchies you know going to the fabric store fabric store to choose fabrics and excites me makes me happy find something you are so tip yeah find something you are passionate about and create trust me a boring life it's a miserable life not happy at all 
stop chasing happiness life will never get easy that's the thing though like we think that because we are going through rough times that we can't be happy but that's far from true you know even when i remember when i used to work for pret i used to wake up at three o'clock to get to work and start work at five but when i look back i remember memories you know with the, my colleagues there we used to put music we used to dance in the kitchen and just even though it was hard there were still happy moments when i look back it's not all about being life being easy that's not what happiness is about stop chasing happiness life will never get easy there will be always there will always be difficulties heartbreaks breakdowns be creative live in the present fall in love with something or someone with someone or something i would say um, only a few holy people can be ultimately happy with having nothing and no money in the food you know if you some christian so we learn about saints and all that how they reach you know god right they will reach their highest state of you know spiritually and they were genuinely happy they might have, they might have nothing no money no nothing but they will still ultimately genuinely real happy for us normal people we can't really get that we are not spiritually that strong but we just have to live through our normal like mortal life isn't it just create memories and all that normal people we need some stability financial no many debts some small luxuries as i said earlier even though you are struggling you can still be happy but you need those basic things you know stability if i have too many debts and all that if i'm financially unstable it can really bring me down and that is blocking you from creating happy memories some small comforts even like just drinking coffee makes me happy you know like you need those small luxuries as well even though we're saying you can feel happy even with your struggles you still need to find some small luxuries in your life small small it's the small things that's what, that's another thing small things bring happiness isn't it yeah having a tidy house being less makes me less stressed being less stress it will help me feel happy because if i'm stressed i can't be happy you know so that's the thing you have to always try to eliminate those negative feelings even though things are hard that's when you can't you have to find the positive things as i said earlier we used to work for prayer but to kill time to make ourselves feel more happier while doing a difficult job in the kitchen we used to put music and that make us happier so in every moment you need to create your happiness go to the journey go watch the movie find time for yourself to rest and enjoy your little luxuries have something stable in your life job wise personal life get your finances in check save something on the side for a rainy day so when emergencies and unfortunate situations arise you will be able to solve them you know sort them out and carry on with your life that's another thing you know when emergencies happen and i'm short of money and i have to pay for this and that yeah that contributes to my happiness i can feel less happy isn't it so planning your life ahead will help you be happy definitely um i can't promise you that you are going to be happy forever because shit happens things happen in life that throw you off balance when this happens take your time and organize your life again go back to those feelings those things that make you feel happy again um yeah fall in love with something worth falling in love create memories with people you love i love you be creative find your passion and spend time and hours on it have stability when it comes to finances personal life have balance and organization life so you don't feel lost and chaotic because that's when that's what brings stress and anxiety in your life don't chase happiness just leave the present follow the things that make you look forward waking up every morning that somehow can make life a bit more bearable yeah so that that's 
from now it's like two o'clock wasn't it four hour flight you know i mean yeah that's some thoughts about happiness it's not one thing it's just different things <laughs> i can write things better i think rather than explaining them that's why i i, I that's why I read to you some of the things I wrote and um, yeah hopefully you find this video interesting or helpful and yeah that's just some thoughts of mine sometimes I don't know how to express my thoughts but I think now I can kind of explain my thoughts but yeah I'm 30 and I guess life is ahead of me you know so live life be happy and things will be okay let me know your thoughts what do you think what is happiness for you what is the key to happiness yeah what is happiness for you what's the key to happiness let me know your thoughts like it's a deep issue and it's a deep conversation to, to have you let me know share with me your thoughts and i'll see you in the next one bye Bye. <laughs> all night long, yeah. We dance with our razor and tongues and all day long.